Good day, everyone. For today's topic, we have the special products. Some cases of products of polynomials are classified into forms of the factors, which make it special. And the product of these forms can easily be obtained using the special product formulas. And the formulas are said to be special since the law of distributivity will not be applied any longer in obtaining the products. Let's have the first special product. The product of two binomials, which has this formula. And if you're going to take a closer look at the formula, FOIL method is done. So we have to multiply the first term first, AX raised to M and CX raised to N. So that will be for the first term. And then O for the outer term, AX raised to M multiplied to DY raised to N. So for the second term. And then we have I for the inner term, BY raised to M multiplied to cx raised to n, so that is for the third term. And for the last term, we have by raised to m multiplied to dy raised to n. Let's have your first example. 2z minus 3 multiplied to 4z minus 3. And by applying the formula or by using the FOIL method, we have to multiply the first term first, which is 2z and 4z. So that will be equal to 8z squared. Then the outer term, 2z multiplied to negative 3, so that will be equal to negative 6z. Inner term, we have negative 3 multiplied to 4z, so that will give us negative 12z. And the last terms, we have negative 3 multiplied to negative 3, so that will give us positive 9. And then after that, we can combine the like terms. So we have negative 6z minus 12z, so that will give us negative 18z. So for the final answer, we have 8z squared minus 18z plus 9. For the second example, we have 2u plus 5v multiplied to 3u plus 4v. So first term first, 2u multiplied to 3u will give us 6u squared outer term, 2u multiplied to 4v, so that will give us 8uv. Then inner term, we have 5v multiplied to 3u, that will give us 15uv. And the last terms, we have 5v multiplied to 4v, so that will give us 20v squared. And then let's combine like terms, 8uv plus 15uv, so that will give us 23 UV. So for the final answer, we have 6U squared plus 23UV plus 20V squared. Let's now proceed to the second special product, which is the square of a binomial. So if you're going to see a polynomial in this form, its product is equal to the square of the first term plus twice the product of the first and second term plus the square of the last term. And if x minus y quantity squared is the form, then the product will be equal to the square of the first term minus twice the product of the first and the second term plus the square of the last term. In x plus y quantity squared, this is just like multiplying x plus y to itself, as well as in x minus y squared, it's just like multiplying x minus y to itself. Okay, let's have the examples. 3z plus 5 squared. So we're going to square the first term, so that will give us 3z squared, and then plus twice the product of the first and the second term. So that will be 2 multiplied to 3z multiplied to 5 and then plus the square of the last term. So that will be equal to 5 squared. And then let's simplify. 3z quantity squared, that will give us 9z squared plus 2 multiplied to 3z multiplied to 5, that will give us 30z and 5 squared, that will give us 25. So for the final answer for the first example, we have 9z squared plus 30z plus 25. Another example, we have 7x squared minus 2y. So it's in this form. So we're just going to 
square the first term. So that will be 7x squared quantity squared and then minus twice the product of 7x squared and 2y and then plus the square of 2y. So that will be 7x squared. So recall the loss of exponent. An exponent raised to an exponent, we're just going to multiply and 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. So that's why we have here 4. 7x squared raised to 2, so that will be equal to 49x raised to 4. And then 2 multiplied to 7x squared multiplied to 2y, that will give us 28x squared y. And then we also have 2y quantity squared, that will give us 4y squared. So for the final answer for this example, we have 49x raised to 4 minus 28x squared y plus 4y squared. Next, we have the product of the sum and difference of two terms. So if you're going to see a polynomial in the form x plus y multiplied to x minus y, the product is equal to the square of the first term minus the square of the second term. Let's have an example. We have 5z plus 9 multiplied to 5z minus 9. So as we use the formula, we're just going to square the first term. So that will be equal to 5z quantity squared and then minus the square of the second term. So we have minus 9 squared. Squaring 5z will give us 25z squared and squaring 9 will be equal to 81. So for the final answer, we have 25z squared minus 81. Second example, we have 3x squared minus 5y cubed multiplied to 3x squared plus 5y cubed. So as we use the formula again, so we're just going to square the first term. So that will be equal to 3x squared quantity squared and then minus the square of the second term, 5y cubed. So again, what are we going to do with exponents is we're going to multiply them. So for the final answer, we'll have 9x raised to 4 minus 25y raised to 6.